Here with Braxton Farmsworth. He's a bull rider, a sophomore with uh, UNA Basin. Braxton, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to talk with us today. Uh, first question, how excited are you for state finals? That bull riding looks like it's going to be a fun competition. I'm pretty stoked. It is going to be a tight competition. There's four or five of us up in there on top, but it's going to be tight. When you look at the the leaderboard, there's you there. There's Cam's Rich, Dalton Allred, of course, as well as uh, Weston Simpson. I'm, I'm assuming you've been rodeoing with those guys all year. You know those guys pretty well. What's it like to kind of go down the rodeo trail with those guys? Oh, it's a blast. There's never a dull moment with Dalton, Cam's, or Weston. That's for dang sure. It's always just a hoot behind the buck and shoots. Yeah, I have to say one of the biggest suits I had this year was uh, the bull ride you had at a Mount Pleasant at that indoor arena. You won the round, rightfully so. You remember that trip I'm talking about? Yes, sir. That was a fun one to get on. He definitely didn't make it easy to ride. Talk to me a little bit about uh, about the bulls that you guys have been able to get on this year. Of course, that bull as well. Um, just about the stock contractors and kind of the stuff that they've been able to provide for you. The stock contractors are great at the high school rodeo. They've got a great pen for some high school kids to be getting on, and they're not too ranked for the buck you off and teach how to fall off. They're just perfect where you can like work it, work on riding them and not falling off. You're only a sophomore, so you've got a few more years left in your uh, your rodeo career at the high school level before you move on to other things. What are some things you're hoping to accomplish in the next couple of years? Uh, I'd like to get at least one state championship and one nationals win. That would be great. And of course, uh, you're again, you're only a sophomore. You're you're right in the thick of the race to be one of the top four to go to Rock Springs to the national finals. Uh, what would it be like, you feel like, if uh, you were able to punch your ticket for nationals as a, so as a sophomore? I would be, heck, not even if I, if I, even if I didn't win a state championship, it'd be a big dream of mine to go to my sophomore year because I've been close to going to nationals a couple times, which hasn't worked out. What uh, what do you feel like needs to kind of go right for you over in Heber in a week or so in order to punch your ticket? I just need to stay on all three of my bulls and hope that I get draw good and ride good, best of my ability, and get some good scores. Talk to me real quick about uh the stock the stock that you guys are going to see at state. I I don't know if you know what uh what's going to be there or, or if there's any uh bulls that you're hoping are there that you get a chance to ride that you haven't gotten to or one that you'd like a rematch with. So it's pretty much like the whole high school pen throughout the year. It's Stacy Mascaro and Circle J Rodeo Company, and then they get a couple new ones throughout the through, before, right before state, and then they end up bucking them at state, and I just hope I draw good, that's all. I don't really have a favorite one to get on, just hope I draw good. Awesome. All right, uh, Raxton, we're going to move on to the spotlight portion of our interview, and how that works is I've got 10 kind of fun icebreaker questions for you. Um, your job will be to pick four numbers from one and 10, and that will determine uh, your uh, spotlight questions. Sound good? Yeah. What's that first number going to be? Uh, five. Five. What is a skill you'd like to learn in the future? Uh, probably how to weld because I'm not very good at it. You've got a head start, though, it sounds like. Yeah, I'm learning. Is, is that what you're hoping to do as a as job in the future or just a skill you'd like to kind of have in your back pocket? Just, just a skill to have because you never know when someone's going to need a welder. Awesome. Awesome. All right. What's that next number going to be? Uh, we'll go with eight. Eight. All right. Have you ever met any of the, uh, any uh, PRCA bull riders or if not, who is one that you'd like to meet? Yeah, I've met. I go and get down. I go down to the frost and get on a lot. I was actually yeah. there last weekend at the bull riding school. What's uh? what's the best advice you, Josh has given you? Uh, To run away from the pain, probably. Pretty good advice for a bull rider. Yeah. Awesome. What's that next number going to be? Uh, let's go three. Three. What's the best compliment you've ever received about your bull riding? Um, that's a tough one. Probably, I'd have to say that I'm doing pretty like someone walking up. I've never met him before. Actually, no. Is it a high school basketball game? I walked up to a buddy of mine dad and he's been like told me good job and he's been watching the standings because his, his boy kind of just 
started playing basketball instead of playing instead of rodeo and he says hold me good job keep it up and he's been watching the standings awesome what uh when you look at uh this sophomore year what's kind of been the big difference between this year and years in, uh, in the past for you i've just come i've come a lot i've grew a lot more on my riding skills i've learned a little more I, last year i managed stayed on one bull this year i'm sitting pretty good to go to nationals awesome all right what's that uh final one gonna be uh two two what is your most prized possession probably my hair your hair yep all right that's a that's a first what uh is it kind of like your trademark you kind of like whip it around when you get a good bull ride going kind of a rocker steiner yeah, type I've, thing i've always kind of had long hair okay. i just stuck with me. awesome well, that is Braxton Farnsworth. He is a sophomore with the Units of Basin Rodeo Club. Braxton, last question for you. Um, when the when it's all said and done, the short go is over on Saturday at state finals. Besides holding that buckle and, and covering all three, what are some some mini goals, I guess, you're hoping to accomplish at the state finals? Even if it don't go good, at least ride one bull, because I didn't ride a single one at state last year. And do somewhat good in the team open. You are. Who's your uh, team rope and partner? Uh, Shaley Ivy. Awesome. Well, we're uh, rooting for you, Braxton, and hopefully you have some success in both of those events. And again, that's Braxton Farnsworth. He's a sophomore with the Uinta Basin, one of the top bull riders in the state. Braxton, thank you so much for the time. Anything else for we wrap it up? Thank you.